vicious. Mares. And that is what Manchester City are all about. It's one of the oldest tricks in the book, but still one of the best when it comes to roasting defenders. The fake shot. And not many players do it better or more frequently than Riyad Mahrez. However, the Algerian wizard actually switches between three variations of the fake shot. And today we'll teach you how and when to do all of them. Just remember to subscribe with the notifications on and let's get going. First up, we have the almost iconic Mares fake shot ball roll. It's actually exactly what it sounds like, where you want to set up for the shot, but instead of hitting the ball, you make a ball roll 90 degrees to the side instead, hoping that the defender will flinch and give you that little bit of time and space to shoot. Or maybe pull another fake shot to really roast them if you feel like it. Now, it's important though that you do the fake shot convincingly, meaning that you do it with power, that your shooting foot actually moves back with speed in order to sell the move. And then, the roll is important as well. It needs to be quick and powerful too to get out. And it needs to happen in one fluid, smooth motion after the shots. So in other words, don't fake the shot, put your foot down, and then do the roll. No, fake a shot and then transition into the roll fluidly by almost slapping the ball with your studs and then laugh all the way back to the center circle after you've just scored. Mares also frequently does a variation of the Cruyff turn. Now, a traditional Cruyff turn is where you turn the full 180 degrees, but Mares instead more uses it as a 130 degrees chop. Again, this is a fake shot, but instead of striking the ball, you transition into doing a Cruyff turn where you tap the front of the ball with the inside of your foot and almost scoop it backwards behind your standing leg. It's really good if you're close to the defenders because it keeps your leg between them and the ball, thus protecting it a bit more. But it's also a little risky because there will be a split second where you will have to turn and thus won't have full control or protection over the ball. So again, you need to sell the fake shot to fixate the defender and then it should be easy to set yourself up to create some mayhem. And finally, we have the classic Mares chop, which is a fake shot, but with a more powerful directional touch at the end. So instead of doing a normal fake shot with a normal touch, you actually almost chop the ball with the instep of your foot to make it change direction very sharply and powerfully. You can also use it to simply stop the ball if you want to buy yourself a bit more time and survey your surroundings. But the little touch chop works wonders to get the ball away from the defender at an angle. And hopefully that will be enough time for you to whip in a cross or score that goal. And if it doesn't, well, you can always do another one right after. So there you have them, my friends. Three of Riyad Mahrez's favorite fake shots that have roasted I don't know how many defenders over the years. We're probably talking hundreds. What is your favorite skill and what should we teach you next? Let me know in the comments down below. And then remember to copy your new materials from Unisport in the link to your right. And finally, consider hitting the playlist in the bottom corner to learn how to improve even more as a footballer. And with those words, I'll be signing off. Cheerio.